Cuneo Editor 1.2 adds new useful functionality into the already powerful control editing platform. This video will give you an overview of all the new features in the 1.2 release. Version 1.2 adds new dedicated basic, advanced, and LED tabs for each of the buttons, pads, and sliders. These tabs provide more clarity and ease of workflow when editing presets on your Cuneo. The Basic tab includes two sub-tabs for Drum Mode and Grid Mode. The Drum Mode tab has several new features. X value or Y value can now be set to send pitch bend messages instead of a CC by entering a negative 2 in the value field. This can be useful when Cuneo is the controller for melodic sources, as it allows you to bend the pitch of any sound source using X or Y gestures. X return value and Y return value can now be set individually. This allows you to independently set the value that the X axis and Y axis return to when a sensor is no longer being pressed. In the previous Cuneo editor, X and Y return was one value, meaning both X and Y had to return to a single value. Pad note behaviors have also been updated. Pads can now behave in normal mode or toggle mode. When set to normal mode, pressing a pad will send a note on and releasing the pad will send a note off. When toggle mode is engaged, pressing a pad will send a note on and a note off will not be sent until the pad is pressed again. Each pad can be set to send fixed velocity or fixed pressure. Fixed velocity or fixed pressure is set using the two boxes labeled Velocity CC Output located on the right of this edit pane. Using these boxes, you can select the value that pressure or velocity outputs. Engaging variable velocity or continuous pressure will allow that source to send a continuous message as opposed to an user-specified number. Grid Mode is now activated by checking the box labeled Grid Mode on the Grid tab. Grid Mode behaviors have been updated in version 1.2. As with Drum Mode, each pad corner can now send fixed velocity and pressure and can function in normal or toggle modes. The menu option View Show Advanced has been replaced by the Advanced tab in version 1.2. All of the advanced functions can now be found on this tab. Bank switching controls are now editable for the pads in version 1.2. To engage bank switching for the pads, select one of the up-down buttons, left-right buttons, or the rhombus button and select Enable Bank Switching. Then select Pads from the Bank Control drop-down menu. In the Pads Advanced tab, you can assign the transpose offset for each of the four pad banks. Changes made here are global across all of Cuneo's pads. The default offset value is set to 0, 16, 32, 48, which is perfect for transposing the pad's note numbers in drum mode. The pad transpose offset can be set to any value, for example, if you are using Cuneo's pads in grid mode, you could set up the transpose offset to 0 and 64, which would transpose the whole set of notes up by 64, giving you access to a whole new set of notes on that preset. A maximum of two banks would be available in this scenario because of the 127 note limit per MIDI channel. The LEDs tab allows you to select the channel that LED controls are sent on for each sensor type. Specific LED input messages can be assigned per preset, allowing you to customize the visual feedback that each preset provides. For more information on note number and CCs for each of the LEDs, please see the Cuneo version 1.2 features document. You can now adjust the on and off thresholds for the sliders and rotaries. These controls can be found under the Advanced tab of the sliders and rotaries. 
increasing and decreasing this threshold changes the amount of finger pressure required before the sensor recognizes a change is being made. Version 1.2 allows you to edit multiple sensors at once. Simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard when selecting the sensors you want to edit. When multiple sensors are selected, you can edit their parameters simultaneously. To export all presets, go to the File menu and select Export All Presets. Once selected, choose a location in the save window that pops up. This gives you the ability to back up your presets outside of the Cuneo editor. We recommend doing this every time you update the editor software. Swap Pad LEDs allows you to swap all of the red and green LEDs. When LED control is set to remote, this feature will allow you to swap note numbers for controlling the red and green LEDs. This is provided purely for your convenience. When Program Change In is enabled, Cuneo receives Program Change messages to change presets. Program Change messages 1 through 16 will switch to the appropriate preset on Cuneo. With Program Change Out selected, Cuneo will send a program change message when switching presets. Any preset switch will send a program change of 1 through 16 corresponding to your preset number. The Audition Preset function allows you to upload a preset to your Cuneo before saving the preset. This gives you a convenient way to test the preset you are currently editing on the Cuneo before saving over the last saved preset. 